here we are, Nick Andrews up to bat. Last time you saw us, it was Halloween and Warb was arrowing a, a mighty fine 10 pointer. Now it's been a few days, actually it's been about a week. We went home, we edited, we got videos out, hunted with family, and now we're back. Now we just swapped roles. Warb's got the camera, I've got the bow, and we're off on a new adventure. New places, went to somewhere we've never even been here before, never hunted here. So pretty excited, don't know anything about it. So that's why it's five o'clock in the morning and we're kind of just heading over there to see what it looks like. Yep. And it's Veterans Day, Nick. Thank you for your service. It is Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to all the vets out there for on November 11th. Yesterday was the Marine Corps birthday, so I had a little celebration here and then I went to bed. <laughs> and I feel fine. I feel great. I feel good. You know, a lot better than I felt on many Veterans Days uh, in the past. What do you expect for an organization born in a bar? We're headed out, we got about a 40 minute drive. We'll see you when it gets daylight. He's turning. Decent little eight point or something. So, since we last talked, we went all through that new area we were at, and uh, it wasn't so new to a bunch of other people. <laughs> so there was like 35 trucks, I think. There's a lot of people, so we bailed out of that. We saw a few deer from the truck, but bailed out of that quick and just found a different spot. Hope nobody would be over here. We drove over here and we haven't seen any sign of any people coming in. One, cause it's super steep, <clears throat> big hills right here. Super steep and no easy access except to come straight up the face of these hills. So, Which is why you're out of breath at the moment. That's why I'm out of breath. We're getting close to the cap of this ridge and first real good sign we come up on right here is this scrape. As further we've come up, there's been a little bit more travel sign we've seen, maybe some old rubs. And this is the first fresh sign, so we're gonna keep pushing up. We got a couple spots in here we're really interested in. We're gonna push up in here and see what it looks like, see if there's any fresh sign. And we're right now we're just looking for an opportunity to hunt this evening. But we're scouting with bow in hand. Cause you never know. We might stumble up on something cool. That's where we're at with it. All right, y'all, it's like 1.30 in the afternoon right now. Warb and I are sliding into our, this is uh, like the fifth spot we've been to today. It's a little different. We're kind of in a, more of a lowland marshy area right now. We've been in some hills. So it's a little bit different terrain, but right off the rip, I mean, we're, we're sliding in here. We find two scrapes, the first couple hundred yards walking. So. We got a pretty good ways to go to get to the point we've picked out on the map, but we might cut something before then and, and end up setting it and hunting it. I'm pretty sure it's a red. I see it though.
pretty sure he's still right there.
least 50. And when I last saw that big bug in the doe, it looked like they were angling, started to angle away from us. But the, that underbrush got real tall, got taller than the deer's back. And that's yeah. when I lost them, yeah. And then at that point, they were like, just straight away from me right here. What the heck happened? <laughs> it's been a while since we've had an update here. A couple hours, I feel like we stood still for a really long time. We were slipping up here, to this, coming to this exact spot. And Warp started classing a rub. He said, I think I see a rub up there. And we're just kind of standing here, hemming and hawing about what we want to do. If we want to go to a different spot or, or what. And his deer starts coughing. He got a coughing fit pretty bad. Oh man, sneezing hard yeah. for like two minutes. And it was right there. I mean, they were right in front of like 50 yards maybe. I kept, I kept ranging that doe and that buck when he walked through. And they were 70 up there. But when we first saw him, he was closer than that. Yeah. If he wouldn't have sneezed, we would have blown him. Oh, 100%, because we were about to move up, and we had no idea they were there. It's a really big buck, a doe, a hot doe, and a little year and a half old, or 10 point or something. So we just froze. He was looking in our direction. He de I think he definitely heard us, but didn't know what we were. Didn't see us. We had the sun at our back. We got these trees kind of scattered between us and them. So he's looking right into the sun, and the wind is perfect for us. And they never buggered, the doe never even looked at us, that big buck's the only one that was looking in our direction. But they all just kind of did their thing, and that doe peed up there, did you watch her pee? And both of them went right there and were lip curling and smelling real hard. And then they, that buck's just following her through this thicket. I didn't realize how big he was till they walked across there in the wide open, and I was like, oh my, that is a, I don't, that is an adult. I didn't know if you could hear me because I was glassing and I was like I see a doe and then I saw his head move and I was like oh, that's a really big buck <laughs> and that's when he started walking away kind of toward that other buck but he was behind some brush from you I didn't know like how big I just knew he was big and then when he walked out in front of us right there I was like golly he's a giant yes it's the biggest white tail I've ever it's the closest I've ever been to one that big in the wild was alive and someone else had already killed <laughs> yeah, I was a freak I gotta get this backpack on I don't know what we're gonna do I don't know we may be maybe we just we gotta get up in a tree or sit on the ground yeah we gotta do something we're very much in the game right now I think 4 o'clock it's 320 oh yeah we, we got, got two hours time. a lot can happen in two hours I like my left arm's about to fall off from all yeah this my back is my back is freaking killing me from all this pack up and there may be a completely different deer come through on that trail
behind us. It's a good thing he showed up when he did, not about an hour before, because he would have run right over those deer and he had no idea. So we flagged him down and he gave us a wave and got out of here. And we were appreciative of his kindness. I wish I could tell him what was happening right in front of us, but anyway, we're in here, we're in the game, we're settled. So now we're just going to wait and see what happens. It was a bit of a rodeo, and we're lucky we got away with what we did. And it just didn't blow up in our face, but we're in here. Slip out of here without boogering anything else and come up with a plan for the morning. 